Hello and welcome back to Global Online Platform. This is Shamni Swarnakar and today we are going to cover 30 questions as uh, we have completed 30 questions of 2020 paper. Okay. But let me tell you that you can get my lectures at 9 p.m. on a daily basis. Okay. So, but before diving into the video, let me share that there is a great opportunity to prepare smartly for the April 2024 Maharashtra set. Global Online is offering a comprehensive English literature course. You'll have access to video lectures that explain concepts using short and effective methods. The course also provides downloadable PDF notes for all your convenience. Additionally, you'll get mock tests that simulate real exam conditions, boosting your final preparation. To learn more, reach out to the provided contact number. Now, if you want to watch pre-videos, first download the Global Online app. Once you are in, head to the store section okay there you'll find details of all the courses use the search bar to directly type in the course name and you will see an overview along with the fees for the duration click on the content section and you'll find unit wise folders in each unit you'll get theory lectures evaluation notes mock tests and mcqs no need for extra reading okay now if you decide to join the paid course you'll also be added to our whatsapp group in that group you'll receive pdfs for each session along with the videos link it's a great way to stay connected and get additional resources so let's start and happy learning moving on to question number 31 let's read the question one by one and uh, try to find out the answers okay now moving on wait a minute Yes. Now, the use of an interactive model of language teaching materials based on the learner's everyday life situations are the strategies used by. The question is basically asking that there is a use of an interactive model of language teaching materials based on the learner's everyday life situations are the strategies used by. Okay. Which kind of method actually uses the strategies? Let me given uh, give you an overview of the options first option the army method okay second the reading method third the communicative language approach and the fourth one the bilingual method so let me tell you bilingual method when you use one language uh, that is that may be mother language which the students have mastered in learning english okay so actually you're using a mother tongue to teach uh, English language that is bilingual method but here uh, it will not be the answer because there is no everyday life situations are involved the second one the communicative language approach okay what is communicative language approach basically it focuses on teaching language to communication okay it actually adds communication so it actually uh, based on learners everyday life situations because um, just for example I'll give you just imagine a situation you are talking with a friend and you must have heard that there is a conversation between you and your friend uh, given in a textbook that this is how you can speak to each other okay there is a prescribed dialogues for you and there is a prescribed assumption that the reply you will get and then how you'll answer the question or the whatever okay so that is the communicative language approach of course this seems the answer but let me read the other option the reading method what is reading method it's basically it's also known as a reading approach and it's based on grammatical uh, things okay get a grammatical patterns from written text now this is not going to be the answer the rv method is also known as audio lingual method i have already discussed this so this is also not going to be the answer so the only option we have here is the communicative language approach that is the correct answer okay moving on to question number two nadine godima won the nobel prize in so first before you will find out the uh, answer basically the correct answer let me tell you something about nadine godima basically south african writer South African writer and works some of the most important works are conservationist conservationist okay then burger's daughter 
don't uh, assume that there is a burger, a big burger and a small burger, don't, don't do it. Then Julius people. These are the famous works of Nadi Gaudima. Now, the question is asking when he won the Nobel Prize. Whether it's 1991, 1992, 1993 or 1994. So, the correct answer is 1991. Do remember this. 1991 is a very specific period where you can uh, also collect some other facts and add to it and write it down. Okay. Moving on to question number 33. Which of the following books is not written by Tatlima Nasreen? Okay, so Tashlima Nasreen basically a Bangla, uh, sorry, Bangladeshi, she is a Bangladeshi writer, okay, Bangladeshi writer and a physician, a feminist, uh, kind of activist she was, but uh, basically um, she has been blacklisted and banished from the Bengal region, both from Bangladesh and the Indian state of the West Bengal. Basically, from not the uh, whole India, but from the Bengal region, okay, West Bengal and Bangladesh. So, leave it that. But, uh, yeah, the options are Lajja, French Lover, Bakul Katha, and Sharom. So, Sharom is, of course, a work by Taslima Nasreen, and Lajja is also a work of Taslima Nasreen. Now, uh, Hey, you need to find out whether French Lover is uh, from Taslima Nasreen or not. Of course, this is also a work by Taslima Nasreen. The only option we have here is Bakul Katha. Okay, is not written by Taslima Nasreen. So, who wrote this particular work? Asha Purna Devi. Asha Purna Devi. Okay, she wrote this particular work. So, of course, this is the correct answer here. Okay. Moving on to question number 34. Who among the following writers was a leading member of the Harleem Renasa? So, you know that uh, there is a Renasa and there is a Harleem Renasa associated with Africa. So, here you need to, uh, what do you need to do? You need to understand Harleem Renasa first. Uh, try to understand that because I have already discussed this in my previous lecture. You can go and watch the video. And also the leading member you need to know, right? Okay, the options are Ellen Ginsberg, right? Second, Henry Wordsworth Longfellow. Third, Langston Hughes and the Louisa Mary Alcott. So, the only uh, leading member is among the options, of course. Langston Hughes is the correct answer. But, except that, there is another like Jora Neil Hudson is also associated, associated with her limb Renasa. The Claude McKay is also associated with it and then county kulin okay county kulin was also associated with this okay halim Renasa. moving on to question number 35 natras in the man setter uh, of malguri is a uh, this is man eater of Malkuri, okay. So it's a work by R. K. Narayan, of course. It was published in 1961. So here you need to tell, okay, answer that uh, Natraj is the character, but not who was Natraj in the whole novel. Veterinary doctor, printing press owner, tourist guide, or philosopher. Who was Natraj? Printing press owner. What, who he was? Printing press owner. Okay. So the correct answer is B. Moving on to question number 36. Wait. Who among the following did not publish a dictionary of the English language? Okay. Who is not? So you can guess here. William Tyndale is the only option here that actually associated with Bible. Okay. So Tyndale's Bible you all know. Samuel Johnson of course wrote a dictionary. We all know that a dictionary of the English language. Nathalie Belay also wrote a dictionary and that is an universal, universal etymological English dictionary. Okay, then Robert Cordray also wrote one table alphabetical. What? Table alphabetical. And it is the first alphabetical dictionary. Okay. The spelling is alpha 
they keep it <laughs> okay this is of course i hope it's clear table alphabetical and un universal and universal etymological in english dictionary okay so this is the facts these are the facts now moving on to question number 37 teaching english for communicative competence in a specific field such as it engineering business accounting hospitality is referred to by the acronym okay so there is a teaching english okay for communicative competence and it actually referred to by the acronym who is like which is the one esp and the i'll tell you the uh, term basically extra sorry extra sensory perception this is the acronym this is not the acronym basically the full form esp is the correct answer e s p is the correct answer okay moving on to question number 38 the rest of the earth includes an introduction by we smart and read a question very carefully the rest of the earth includes an introduction the question is asking about the introduction the rest of the earth is written by franz fenet in 1961 but the introduction was from jean paul satay okay so jean paul satay now mikhail foko this is r okay so a is the correct answer moving on to question number 39 who calls spencer the poet's poet who called him whether it's william hazlitt john dryden alexander pope or charles lamb who wrote it poet's poet charles lamb s s do remember this way okay this is very funny but still moving on to question number 40 according to aristotle tragedy has how many elements dash elements how many elements let me count it for you okay plot character diction uh then thought okay spectacle spectacle and song how many are there count 1 Two, three, four, five, and six. So these are six elements. Okay, there are six elements according to Aristotle. Moving on to question number forty-one. Identify the character about whom Charles Lamb characterizes her manner as innocence resembling boldness, and William has it found in that character that force and practice presence of mind. Options are. Wait a minute. First, Miranda in the Tempest, or B, Isabella in the White Devil, or C, Victoria in the White Devil, or D, Duchess in the Duchess of Malfi. Who is the character about whom Charles Lamb said this, and William also has it also said it. Now, so the character is Victoria. in the white devil white devil is written by webster of course right webster john webster and it is first performed in 1612 because it's a play okay so do remember this moving on to question number 42 which one of the following character characteristics cannot be attributed to charles lamb's essays so okay so the options are metaphysical element humor and pathos okay mystification and autobiographical element of course you will find an autobiographical element in charles lamb essays mystification is also there human and pathos is also there but metaphysical element you will not find okay so the correct answer is a metaphysical element moving on to question number 43 how does don argue that in killing the flea the girl commits triple murder okay basically flea the flea is a poem written by john uh, john dun okay and uh, poet is actually saying that the flea actually murders triple triple people three people okay triple i'm saying okay so the options are the girl's mother father and the flea or the poet's mother father and the flea or the poet the girl and the flea 
or D, the girl's mother, father and the poet. So the correct answer here is the poet, the girl and the flea. He models three of them. Okay, so C is the correct answer. Moving on to question number 44. Of the following, which is a tragedy written by Ben Johnson. Of the following, which is a tragedy written by Ben Johnson. Whether it's Cynthia's Rebels, the Poetaster, Bartholomew Affair or Cezanus. So Cezanus is the character. Correct answer basically. It is a 1603 play about Lucius alias Cezanus, the full, full length. Lucius, Lucius, then alias Cezanus. Okay, so this is the whole name, like the full name. Moving on to question number 45. Edmund Spencer's The Shepherd's, this is Shepherd's calendar was dedicated to whom Edwin Spencer dedicated this particular work. Options are Sir Philip Sidney, Christopher Marlowe, Robert Green or Thomas Lodge. Okay, so the correct answer is Sir Philip Sidney, right? And there is another character, John Skelton. Basically, John Skelton is not the character, but uh, the writer has used Colin Clot to represent John Skelter. Do remember this information, okay? Moving on to 46, question number. Who has made self-declaration about the microcosm depiction as a little bit, two inches wide of ivory on which I work? Who made this self-declaration? Uh, the options are George Eliot. Jane Austen, Walter Scott and Joseph Conrad, okay. So, is the writer, the B, Jane Austen is the writer, okay. Moving on to question number 47. Who is called the Wasp of Twickenham? Who is called the Wasp of Twickenham? The options are Alexander Pope, Jonathan Swift, John Dryden and Safsbury. Who is the writer? Who is called the Wasp of Twickenham? Alexander Pope. Okay. Alexander Pope is the one. Moving on to question number 48. Which one of the following is not included in the group of metaphysical poets? Who, which one of the following is not included in the group of metaphysical poets? So, of course, Abraham Collier is there. Uh, John Dunn is there. John Cleve Milland is also there. Edmund Spencer is not the person who actually uh, include, included in the group of metaphysical poets, okay? And there are other uh, metaphysical poets, uh, for example, Henry Wergham, Henry Wergham, then Henry O. Marvel is there, Henry O. Marvel is there, George Herbert is there, George Herbert, then uh, Richard Presso, and of course, I have mentioned George Cleveland. Okay, moving on to question number 49. Which of the following statements or comments is not true? Okay, which is not true, you need to find. Tess is more sent than against than the sinning. This is the correct statement. Robert Browning shares his robust optimism in his poem. Of course, this is the correct statement. Thomas Hardy is a pessimistic novelist and asserts the importance of the role of destiny or importance of the role of destiny or chance in lives of human beings. I think uh, this is a repeated line. Never mind. Okay, this is also the correct statement. But here the thyrosis cannot be said to be a pastoral elegy because it's a pastoral elegy. Okay, and it is dedicated... Uh, Dedicated to whom? Dedicated to Arthur Hugh Clog. Okay. So, this is the correct option. D. Moving on to question number 50. Identify the metrical foot in the following line. So, see here. With. With. Unstressed. Then, O. Oh, unstressed. Turf is a stress. U, U, S, 
on unstressed my unstressed breast stressed okay wait a minute yeah then and unstressed or unstressed sorry stone stone stressed on of course unstressed my of course unstressed head is stressed so here unstressed unstressed and only uh, in nfs it happens that there is unstressed to unstressed syllable followed by a stress syllable okay so this is going to be our correct answer a nfs moving on to question number 51 which type of theme does lp hartley's the go between deal with okay so this question has been dropped by the by the what by the of course examiner or maybe whoever the authority so let me tell you the theme uh, loss of innocence is there loss of innocence okay then love is there then destructive uh, power is there destructive power of secrets wait a minute then um, class is also there because you can see the class differences is there class is also there okay moving on to question number 52 which of the following novels of charles dickens has the autobiographical elements i have discussed this and you should know the answer david copperfield david copperfield is a fictional autobiography and that was published in 1850 okay do you remember moving on to question number 53 i have also discussed this phonology studies patterns of sound that is all you need to know moving on to 54 who wrote the novel the plague it's very easy plague is a absurdist absurdist uh, novel 1947 novel okay and the writer is albert camus and do remember kings m uh, kingsley ms work franz kafka's work jean paul sartre work so you'll, it'll help you moving on to question number 55 who wrote the play rhinoceros hmm. options are samuel beckett henry kipson albert camus and eugen unesco who wrote it eugen unesco it is a play and that was performed in 1519 sorry 1959 i'm writing right but i'm pronouncing it right okay question number 56 jens joyce finnegans wake was published in jens joyce finnegans wake was published in the options are 1938 1939 and 1941 and sometimes feel it it feels like kbc kon banega karopati <laughs> who will get the jrf that depends on this previous year questions do focus here okay so the correct answer is 1939 is the correct answer moving on to question number 57 charles morgan is the author of charles morgan is the author of this is a work by virginia woolf let me tell you then the cathedral is a work by nelson nelson the male then the corn king and the spring queen it's very irrelevant but the writer is nomi magician magician okay or land of course i told you the only option we got is the fountain of course fountain is written by charles morgan moving on to question number 58 which among the following is not an autobiographical writing but the slima nasreen and these are the works by the slima nasreen the question is itself telling you that do remember basically you need to memorize see lajja is the only option here that is not an autobiographical writing and in this particular novel there is mention let humanity it's a very inspiring quote let humanity be the be the other name of religion 
other name of religion just see this sorry okay so the correct answer is d moving on to question number 59 janaki is a character in mul raj anand's novel so call untouchable you will not find coolie you will not get janaki's character then village is also not there so the big heart in the big heart you will find janaki's character and it was written in 1948 but let me tell you some other characters in this particular novel anant janaki of course puran singh i guess purav singh ya puran singh uh, check once okay satyapal then ralia uh murli dhar i guess murli dhar is there and the whole novel is based on one day okay the duration of the novel is one day only one day moving on to question number 60 and the last question we are going to have in this lecture who was known as the nightingale of india tell me it's very easy pritam uh, amrita pritam sarojini naidu mahadevi varma और जालनवी बरुआ हु इज द वन सरोजनी नायडू इज द वन ओके नाउ वी हैव कंप्लीटेड टू दिस लेक्चर विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर थैंक यू सो मच एंड कीप ऑन मेमोराइजिंग थिंग्स कीप ऑन रीडिंग इट ओके थैंक यू